Hello and welcome back in the Gourmet Gambit, my friends. There are many parts of the pork we not use to cook anymore in most countries of the Western world. And one of them is pork trotters, which is really a pity because you can make so many beautiful dishes with this. So today we're going to make orange braised pork trotters and we're going to use some extraordinary spices. I'm Wes and we're going to have a look at our spices first. We got about a teaspoon of fenugreek, another teaspoon of allspice berries, a teaspoon of fennel seeds, we got some Ceylon cinnamon, if you got the Acacia cinnamon I would use a little bit less, five green cardamom pots, two pieces of mace, four Japanese long black peppercorns, a teaspoon of passion berries, also called ruta berries, they're not related to the passion fruit but they come very close in their flavor profile. A good teaspoon of Karorima seed, which is the Ethiopian cardamom. Half a teaspoon of lavender. I wouldn't take more than half a teaspoon. As you know, lavender has a very strong fragrance. We're going to use about two tablespoons of raw cane sugar. And in the end, you may need some additional salt. And our main ingredients are the pork trotters, of course. Five garlic cloves cut in half. A good tablespoon of Korean chili paste. Another good tablespoon of red Japanese miso. We got about six to seven chilies, a good piece of ginger, and three to four oranges. We're going to use a dry skillet, medium low heat. We're going to toast our spices for about one minute, with exception of the lavender. Don't toast the lavender. One minute is enough. We don't want our spices to pop. In the pan bring some water at the boiling point, add the pork trotters. Once the water is back to the boiling point, let them cook for 10 minutes and then rinse them on the cold water. Cut two oranges in slices and use the other two for the juice. One tablespoon of red miso, a good tablespoon of red chili paste, the pressed orange juice, about three quarters of a liter of water. Look warm, mix up well. I'm going to use my favorite clay pot, but you can use any pot with a lid you like, the one you use for low and slow cooking. For those who are cooking with a clay pot, add a little bit of oil. Get out the excessive oil. Add the slices of orange. Add the toasted spices. Add the ginger. The lavender. The garlic. The raw cane sugar our pork trotters, the chilies and the gravy from the miso and the chili paste. And we're going to cook our pork trotters low and slow for two and a half, three hours. It's very important to check out once in a while if you still got enough gravy, add some water if needed and also turn around the pork trotters once in a while. So as you can see in the end it's all cooked off the bones and it's all very tender, full of fruity spicy flavors with a very fragrant gravy. A great dish to eat with noodles or rice, a very nice recipe for pork trotters. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit that bell, it's a great motivation for me. And as this story ends my dear friends, all that's left to say, bon appétit and see you back soon.